there everyone. My name is Wave the Swallow, and today I will be reading you all chapter 14 of the Berenstain Bears and Left for Dead 2. The Berenstain Bears and Left for Dead crossover fan fiction written by a good friend, the Queen of Lions. Thank you very much for giving us permission to read your story, the Queen of Lions. Now this is a sequel to the original Berenstain Bears and Left for Dead crossover fan fiction, which was written by the same author. And I decided to give chapter 14 a read because I felt like it. <laughs> well, without further ado, everyone, let's get reading. After the group got inside the safe room and took a break, they all prepared themselves to leave the safe room. Now here is the plan, Coach said as he gathered the group. When that helicopter flies by the stadium, we will put on the Midnight Riders music to signal them. And he will see the signal. And will pick us all up. Maybe he can help us find Brother Bear, Coach said to the group. Sounds like a great idea. I want to, I want to bring that, I want to bring that sucker down that took Brother Bear away from Sister, Rochelle growled, as the group were making sure everyone knew, knew the plan and knew what to do. Meanwhile, Farmer Ben was at the parish bridge and he was looking at his magic mirror. Magic Mirror, see what the group of Survivor is planning, Farmer Ben said, as the Magic Mirror was showing him what the Survivors, along with Sister Bear, were getting ready to leave the safe room. Going to rescue, are we? Going to get rescued, are we? Well, we won't let you win that easily, Farmer Ben said. The, the special infected to the Carnival Stadium to plan the attack, the Survivors. When the group of the Survivors got to the stadium, they looked around. No one was there except for them. Wow, look how huge this place is, Sister said. This is where concerts are being held, before the outbreak, that is, said Ellis. This is where the Midnight Riders perform here, Ellie asked. Yep, that's right, Ellie. I used to love their music. I still do, Ellis replied. We need the lights on, Rochelle said, as Coach walked up to the bleachers and got to the control system. When they were controlling the lights, he turned on the stage lights, and they came on. Now what? Nick asked. We need to start the concert. Down at that stage, it'll be attracting a horde of infected, so we gotta make sure that we are ready, Coach said, as everyone was on the stage and Ellis was at the mic. What is Ellis doing? Sister asked. I think he's trying to entertain Zoe, Rochelle said. Check one, check one, check two. Ella said as he was testing the mic. Zoe then laughed. Gotta reach for the top, stay on the mountain. Ella said the part of the song that he knows. Every lady's crazy when her daddy's not around. Ella sang more as Zoe laughed. She walked up to Alice. I love your voice when you sing, Alice. It makes me feel like I'm in heaven, Zoe said. As they got close to the controls of the stage and Ella started the concert, the songs by the Midnight Riders were playing, was playing. Ella stared into Zoe's eyes. Hey, Ella said to Zoe, I love you, he said, as he and Zoe were about to kiss when a horde of infected started to attack the group. They were able to shoot down the infected, including special ones like chargers, jockers, spitters, smokers, boomerang, and hunter. And then they heard a tank. He was running towards the group. Tank, light him up, Rochelle said, as the group started to shoot down the tank. As the group were taken down, was taken down the tank, a jockey jumped on Rochelle. Ah, get this thing off me, she screamed as Zoe and Alice started to shoot at the jockey until he was dead. He was able to let Rochelle go by the time the last few bullets were shot at him. We got him, Alice said. Alice and Zoe both cheered at the same time. They both looked at each other and laughed. Then another horde of infected, along with special infected, were attacking the group. While they were shooting down the infected, a charger charged at Nick to one corner of the stadium. Shoot this thing, he's crushing me, Nick cried out for help, as Ellis was shooting down the infected to get to the charger and started to shoot at him. Then one last bullet killed the charger as Nick got up and Ellis turned around to see that Ellie was the one who killed the charger. Thanks, Ellis and Ellie, Nick said. You needed help, so I fired the so I fired the last bullet at him, Ellie said. As fireworks were causing an uproar of, of loud music, the group was all prepared for the helicopter to pick them all up. By the time the helicopter got to the left side of the seats, a tank was killed, and the whole group started to run. Chapter's here. 
Let's go! Zoe shouted as the group began to run towards the helicopter. After everyone got on the helicopter, took off. No one got left behind, thankfully. We all made it. This is amazing, Coach said, and no one died, which was the good thing as well. Rochelle said, as sister was cuddling with Zoe. How do you feel? he asked. A bit better. Thanks, Alice, Zoe said, as her time of the month cramps weren't hurting as much as they were. It's not getting any better by the infected, you know. Yeah. It has been heck, all right, Alice replied. I just wish Francis and Louis would have come with us, sister suggested. Then they could have helped us. Well, sister, I do too, but sometimes people make their choices, Zoe replied. As the helicopter was approaching the swarm of pi the swamp, the pilot became a zombie and started to attack everyone inside. Nick ch shot at the pilot, and the group all got off the helicopter safely, and they ended up in the train cart that was abandoned. Is everyone okay? Coach asked. Yeah, we're okay, Rochelle replied. Nick, what in the world? You shot the pilot, Ella said, as he was angry with Nick. Well, Ellis, he was a zombie. He must have gotten bitten by the same time he picked us up, Nick replied. That's true, but does anyone have any idea where we are? Rochelle asked, as no one really knew where they were. It's really dark. It's a swamp area. Maybe someone can help us, Ellie suggested. The group got themselves prepared. As, they, as soon as they were all ready, they headed out of the train cart. They all got to ga a gas station where there were more a few wandering zombies that that they killed, but nothing unusual happened. And that was chapter 14 of The Berenstain Bears and Left 4 Dead 2. The Berenstain Bears and Left 4 Dead crossover fan fiction written by the Queen of Lions. What do I think of it? I find this chapter to be really good. Book paragraph and sentence structurings are really good. I like the fact that Farmer Ben used a trap to set the group on. The group of survivors, that is. They send the special infected zombies after them. Thankfully, the survivors were able to bring them down. Which, that is a pretty good trick being backfired. Take that, Farmer Ben. <laughs> so far, this story is really good. And overall, this chapter is really nicely done. I don't know if I said that already or not. But both the paragraph and sentence structurings are really good. Now, what do you all think of this chapter? Did you all like it or did you not? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And are you enjoying this story so far or are you not enjoying it so far? Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below. Queen of Lions, thank you again for giving us permission to read your stories. Well, I better go and get up to work on the extreme gear. We're about to head on down to the Babylon Garden. Yeah, this was apparently, uh, this is apparently a thing since we had to check on the Babylon Garden every, every once a month to make sure that everything is okay. But other than that, thank you all very much for watching. This is Wave the Swallow signing off. See you next time.